1989, my company was delivering a keynote on the importance of capitalizing on change. The speaker after her talked about the, import the importance of typing on a computer. Show of hands, how many of you guys is good at typing on a computer? How many of you guys is equally as good at change? What other competency are we going to give people 30 years to get good at? Notice, one of the main sources of drama, it is resisting change. Two and a half hours per day per person are spent in drama every single day. Whenever I talk about this concept, people say, Anna, you don't get it. Change is hard. So let's see this with an example. I imagine that I am a leader and I have two top performers. One has been keeping up with the times and also has a pretty fair new smartphone. The other one has, ha has the same flip phone they have had since high school. Okay? So I give them both a brand new smartphone. What are they going to do? The first person is going to love their job. The second one is going to hate their job. They're going to think that they work for the worst company ever. They're going to be crawling in a fetal position in a corner, right? So is change hard? We found that change is only hard for the unready. If it will be hard, it will be equally hard for the both of them. Whenever there is a change, in every single company, we typically identified three different camps. The first one is people that are in a chronic state of resistance. This is about 20% of the people in every company. People that don't like change, they like how things were done in the past, and we don't want anything new, right? Then we have majority of our people, 60%, and in what we call maintenance. These people just like to play it safe. Well, yeah, this is one change, but there is going to be another one coming up in the next six months, a year. So I'm just going to lay low. The rest of our company are what we call visionaries. Those are the remaining 20% of our company. These people are ready. They say yes since minute one. And they are ready to do anything that it takes to make something work, to make that change work. Let me ask you guys, whenever there is a uh, change in your organization, with what group do you spend your most time with? Most people say resistance, right? Those people are very loud. We want to also help get them involved with the rest of the organization. But your majority is in maintenance. And those people go where the love is. If you spend your most time with those in resistance, they will follow. So the best advice that I can give you, it is to work with the willing. Because your willing are your believers. Those are your visionaries that are always saying yes, and they are able and willing to do anything that it takes to make something work. Because I spend a lot of time with those in vision, I have been accused in the past of playing favorites. Anna, you play favorites. And I go, heck, yes, I do. Would you like to be one? <laughs> right? I do, yes. Would you like to be one? Now, here is the thing. I don't play favorites based on anything that is illegal, immoral. I don't care about what you choose to do with your lifestyle. I play favorites based on some low drama competencies. Are you high in accountability? Are you good at change? Why do I play favorites? Because the same behavior is not going to please a high accountable and a low accountable at the same time. I am always going to be ticking someone off I need to make sure that I am ticking off the right group. <laughs> High accountables want differentiation, while low accountables, they want fairness. They want everyone to be treated the exact same way. High accountables get really nervous when things aren't changing, while on the other hand, low accountables, they get really nervous when things do actually change. Have you guys noticed? A lot of people tell me, Anna, here is the thing. R the retention in my company is going down, and my turnover is going up. So here is what I tell them. Are you differentiating for the right reasons? Are you doing that? If you are, then you are probably going to be keeping your best people, and the people that are going to be leaving are those ones that are high in drama, they have a victim, minded, a victim, victim mind, and they're also very low in accountability. Some people say, but you still don't know what's going on in my company. I have a shortage of talent. And I say, well, here is what I believe. I don't believe that there is a shortage of talent 
what I believe it is that there is a shortage of great places for high accountables to work in low drama places that they actually don't resist change. I promise you guys, if you are focusing your energy on the right group, you will be attracting those that are in a high state of accountability. Thank you so much.